Along with the growth of major economies in Asia, cities in the region has had to contend with the growing demands of infrastructure development along with the growing population. And with that, it has contributed to the growth of the aviation industry. As a product of those developments, we've seen the rise of major airport developments, which are to some the envy in other parts of the world. One of the major challenges of some cities has been to build airports with growing demand for air travel with limited room on land. One city as an example of this is the city of Osaka with its main international air hub, Kansai International, built in the sea. Kansai Airport will be the subject of this video, the fourth part in a series highlighting the major air hubs of the region. Often overshadowed by the developments of the two major hubs of Tokyo, Haneda, and Narita, Kansai Airport serves as the main international gateway for the Kansai region, which includes the city of Osaka, the second most populated metro in Japan. Along with serving as the main international hub for the city of Osaka and the Kansai region, it has a distinction of being one of the engineering marvels of the modern world, taking up two man-made islands in the middle of Osaka Bay, around 38 kilometers south of Osaka Station, with the only direct land connection being a 3-kilometer bridge to the Japanese mainland. The story of the development of Kansai Airport begins in the late 1970s and 1980s as the city of Osaka was contemplating the future of its airport development as Itami Airport was the main international and domestic hub for the city. While Itami was growing, though Itami had its limits with suburban development next to the airport, restricting the possibilities of expanding the airport. So the city set out to build an airport to serve as the new hub for the city and the area, while not angering residents such as in the case of the development of the Tokyo Narita Airport during the late 60s and early 1970s. Developers were first looking at a location in Kobe, though this was opposed by the residents of, of the area, and then the idea and the proposal came about of putting the airport in the middle of Osaka Bay, which while would eventually become an engineering challenge, having the airport in the middle of the sea would reduce the burden on the city residents of Osaka and the nearby areas, allowing for 24-7 flight operations at the new airport. Construction would eventually start in 1987, which included the land rec reclamation to build the first island which is over around 510 hectares. And this would be followed by the construction of the first terminal, Terminal 1, designed by Italian Renzo Piano and Japanese Noriake Okabe, which would be the longest passenger terminal in the world with a distance of around 1.7 kilometers from the west to the east. And along with the first runway and the passenger terminal completed, the airport was opened in 1994, and since then, much of the international traffic passing through Osaka was shifted to Kansai while Itami became a primary domestic hub. As passenger traffic continued to grow, the airport would eventually open up a new man-made island of around 545 hectares located to the west of the existing island, which provided a much-needed second runway for the airport in 2007. That island would also eventually see the building and construction of the new Terminal 2, which primarily serves low-cost airlines in 2012. Nearly two decades since its opening, the airport has become the third busiest airport in all of Japan and the second busiest international gateway after Tokyo Narita. In 2018, the airport saw a record number of passenger traffic with an estimated 29 million travelers and over 189,000 aircraft movements, along with handling over 811 tons of cargo. The airport has become a vital hub for the Kansai region. Much of this traffic could be attributed to the low-cost airlines, including the Japanese domestic budget airlines, as well as those from South Korea and other parts of Asia. However, it has been no secret that the airport has been a costly venture for the city, with the Kansai airport project accumulating a debt of over 11 billion US dollars estimated in 2014. And this doesn't help with much of the reputation amongst airlines that Japanese airports like Narita and Osaka are some of the most expensive to operate at. And during the course of its operation, there has been doubts of the airport's viability as a business and whether Kansai Airport could truly become a premier Asian hub, which it was originally designed to compete against the likes of Seoul, Hong Kong, and Tokyo's Haneda and Narita airports. In an effort to help boost the business of Kansai Airport, in 2016, a public-private consortium with Kansai Airports along with Oryx of Japan and French-based Vinci Airports SAS 
took over the management role and things have appeared to turn around with the growth of foreign travelers heading to Japan, especially to Osaka. The other major challenge to Osaka Kansai Airport has not been of business, but a constant struggle with Mother Nature. Engineers at the airport have had to constantly struggle to keep the airport from sinking using heavy machinery, as Kansai Airport being out in the open at Osaka Bay is prone to natural disasters. Two natural disasters that have highlighted the risk at Kansai Airport was the Great Hanshin Earthquake of 1995, which shook Osaka and the Kansai region, though it did not disrupt much of the operations at the airport then. However, the real big challenge came in 2018 with damage sustained by as a result of Typhoon Jebi which struck Japan in September of 2018 especially in the Kansai region. Much of the first island built, including one runway and the Terminal 1, was flooded forcing the cancellation and disruption of many flights, heavily affecting Kansai Airport's operations given that around 80% of the airlines serving Kansai Airport utilizes Terminal 1. Along with the damage to the airport and the island, a ship struck the bridge connecting the island to the mainland which includes the rail link for the JR and the Nankai lines. For nearly a month, operations would eventually and gradually be resumed. With the business and challenges of the environment, Kansai Airport has been recognized as an engineering marvel. In 2011, the airport received the award for the Civil Engineering Monument of the Millennium by the American Society of Civil Engineers in 2001 and the lessons of the construction and the operation of Kansai Airport has been applied to other airport projects in other parts of Asia, such as Nagoya's Chubu Central Air and Hong Kong International Airport. The original intent for Kansai Airport was to compete with other Asian hubs in the region, including the key Trans-Pacific hub of Narita near Tokyo. Though this sector and market is highly competitive, as now, Haneda has been opening up to international air traffic into since 2010, adding a new challenge to Kansai's, though the city is an attraction in its own right. With efforts to boost the tourism industry in Japan, Kansai Airport is investing in over 900 million US dollars in upgrades to the airport leading up to the year 2025 when Osaka hosts the World Expo. When completed, the new upgrades will increase the capacity at Osaka Kansai Airport to 40 million passengers per year, and travelers will see those upgrades in Terminal 1 with a redesign of the flow of the passenger processes and more gates for international travelers. Kansai Airport Terminal 1 will, will see a shift of the domestic gates which are in the center of the terminal to one side of the airport, and some gates will see dual use in both for domestic and international flights. With lessons learned following the damage sustained from Typhoon Jebi in 2018, the airport is also adding more flood control measures such as stronger seawalls and concrete blocks to break the waves in Osaka Bay. And electrical equipment will be elevated to prevent water damage to crucial equipment for the airport operations. Kansai Airport is just one part of the highly competitive scene amongst the airports in Japan. With the brewing competition for international air travel at Tokyo's Haneda and Narita unfolding, Kansai remains secure in terms of the international traffic for the Kansai region as the airports of Itami and now Kobe Airport, which was built in 2006, serve as the primary domestic hubs for the Kansai region. Even as all three airports are managed by the same organization, Kansai Airports Group. Kansai Airport is more of their Peace to compete with the likes of Narita Airport, which even with the new flight slots at Haneda, Narita is still the top international gateway to the country. With this sense of competition among the airports in Japan, we could see some new creative measures, such as incentives for airlines to open up new flights to Kansai. What are your thoughts on the developments at Kansai Airport? And if you ever have flown or transited through Osaka Kansai Airport, is there any interesting experiences that you have had and like to share? Thank you for watching. This has been another edition of Flights in Asia, highlighting the news and updates from the aviation and travel scene from the Asia Pacific. If you like this video, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Once again, thank you for watching and have a great day.